Hi, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Hi, Brad Hennig, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course. Brad, right. as I mentioned on our last video, we had someone that requested that uh, we show maybe proper strokes or proper things you can do to help prevent impingement or lessen the, the problems that you might have with impingement while swimming. Right. And you're the swimmer. Right. So we already showed a video on how to, to uh, do some exercises or proper swimming in the water. Mm -hmm. And I'll put that right here. Da da da. And, and now we're going to show some exercises you can do out of the water to help prevent impingement. Right. Uh, but so impingement. For swimming, right? Right. Impingement, he's talking about shoulder pain. Right. So shoulder pain from swimming and usually from people who do the crawl, you know, swim, the, the, the typical swim where you, I call it the crawl. There's an Australian crawl or whatever some people call it. But I've got the arm here and, of course, the, the shoulder joint, the head of the humerus, which is the cause. Of the problem. We'll, we'll show that to you, Brad. You better leave. Okay, yeah. exercise. Let's get right to it. Okay. Fair band, I like to use the best for swimming. But it, it, you can use weights for some of these, but we're just going to go through a Fair band or oh, tube. Fair yeah. Yep, Fair tube. You can buy this anywhere. Bob, I want you to stand right there and okay. hold this. I'll be your okay. wall. Normally, you'll put the tube around a doorknob if you're at home or if you have uh, a bar or something in your wherever you do your workouts that you can hold the therapy tube in or get your spouse lean to do this or your children. Hold like this and you're going to do external rotation. Just so like the, this. The arm, arm is at a right angle. Yep. The elbow is. Right. Okay. The elbow stays by your body. Into okay. the side. Don't do this. This is common. Give me a little more truth. Okay, sure. This is a common mistake. This is a common mistake. You want to bring it in here. And this is working the rotator cuff muscle that's going to help stabilize the shoulder with swimming. Okay, you're going to do 10 to 15 of these and then right away you're going to go in and we're going to use that same TheraBand and we're going to pull back like this. Now, what's going on is what's happening to the shoulders now with my hand. Watch, I want you to bring right up to here to the shoulders and see I'm squeezing my shoulders back and down at the same time. It's a great shoulder girdle strengthening exercise and it's great for your posture and it's going to help you with your swimming to keep that joint where it needs to be while you're doing your stroke. So one cue you may think of is that you're actually squeezing your shoulder blades together yep. and down. So his, his blades are coming together and pushing down if yep. you can, down. Yep. Okay, so, the next one. That's exercise number two. Number two. The right, third one, one, why don't you go over there. Okay. Now, this one. You're going to need something to lay on, or you can use a stability ball, exercise ball, and go prone or stomach down, okay? And then you need to find another end. Well, you're going to take that, go over there. You're going to attach that end to the wall or a heavy table or a chair or have somebody hold it like Bob is. <laughs> you can do that. And, Bob, you need to get down lower with that. Okay. Okay, now that stroke, when you swim, you pull through right through here, you're going to strengthen that in this position. So you're simulating the activity that you're doing, and you're just going to pull down to here and back up. Pull down to here and back up, and you don't want to get way up high like that because that's going to help that impingement if there is some. We're just going to keep it just above the shoulder and here. And you can see when that's going to strengthen the muscles and make your swim better and your shoulders stronger. So you're simulating the movement of the activity, which is a really good way to exercise. So those are the three. And now we're going to talk about impingement that Bob talked about in the beginning of the video. And look at the mechanics of what's really going on in the skeleton part of your shoulder. Your arm, Brad? Arm. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh. We're missing our arm. We've got the one arm skeleton here. This is the socket and this is the ball. So it's a ball and socket joint and they fit in there. And a lot of times where the pinching occurs is there's the tendons and, uh, that come up from the muscles come up through this hole here. And right here is a ligament that can put stress on, can pinch the, the tendon. And right here is a bone that can pinch the tendon. Right. So you have the bone right in here in this place like this and, it, and picture this uh, ligament there, or tendon there and it just gets pinched, pinched, pinched. And, and that pinching occurs when you're, I mean, it might be too close, but when you're yeah. reaching up over your head for that swim stroke, here and here is where it's most likely to pinch and will pinch. 
And uh, that's exactly, as far as the skeletal, the mechanics of it, that's where those tissues are going to get pinned. But if you strengthen those muscles that Brad is showing you how to strengthen, that's going to help keep that bone down in there so it doesn't pinch as much. Right. It, it puts the bone in place as opposed to having it ride up and, and hit that spot. Right, right. So I hope that all made sense. It's a little bit complicated. Right. I mean, if, if we go into a technical terminology and say the caudal glide of the humeral head and the glenoid fossa, that really throws people out. Right, that greater tuberosity and yeah, all that. So well, well, we love those words, though. <laughs> all right. Make sure if you haven't already, we want you to subscribe. And remember, Brad, we can fix just about anything, but except for a broken heart. But we're working at it. That's right. I'm going to take an online class, and then I'm going to learn a little bit about that. Talk to my wife about it a yeah. little bit. Yeah.